just finished up my cardio for the day, 30 minutes down. As you can see, we worked up quite a sweat. That is our current physique update. Weighing in right about like 180 pounds right now. I think we're only on day two of the cut. <laughs> I think I'm only two days into the cut, but we're getting there slowly. The thing is like results don't happen overnight. You know what they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. Taking this one day at a time, taking you guys along with the journey. So I figured I'd show you guys, I'm in my home gym right now. This is where I do all my cardio and everything. We have the option of doing the exercise bike. We even have a Stairmaster, but I like ripping the incline treadmill. This thing is ancient. Like this thing's gotta be from like the 1980s or something, but it does the job. I, I have it in the comfort of my own home, so I can't I can't really complain. All right, so I just had my pre-workout meal. I'm all showered up. I'm about to leave for the gym. First, I figured I'd show you guys my supplement stack. So here it is in all its glory. This is everything I'm taking at the moment. Mostly everything. I guess I'll just go one by one. Most of my products I get from uh, HD Muscle. My coach is sponsored by them. I trust my coach, so therefore I trust the company. I trust HD Muscle. Uh, this is liver supplement. You guys can pause to read the ingredients. Do two caps from that. I also take a kidney supplement from HD Muscle as well. It's nine pills total, so I do five in the morning, four at night. I also take curcumin, curcumin. This is just one cap. I also take a fish oil from HD, omega-3s. I'm gonna do two of these. Citrus bergamot, there's the dosing. I think this is coenzyme Q10 with biopairine one capsule of that and i do vitamin d3 as well i'm gonna do 10,000 i use which is two small soft gels and last but not least we have our multivitamin from nutribio a lot of ingredients in this one i'm gonna do two in the morning two at night it's basically like a meal in itself i want to see if i can take it in, in one shot <laughs> Woo! Jesus. It's like sitting like a rock. All right, so I'm at the gym now, and today we have our quad focus leg day. I know what it looks like. I'm starting off with a hamstring movement, but on my quad focus leg day, I'll do one hamstring movement, and vice versa. On my hamstring focus leg day, I'll do one quad movement. So today we're starting off with the hamstrings, working my way up to my top set right now. I got 88 pounds on the stack. So I'm just gonna take this to a set to failure in the 10 to 12 rep range. Since for that set, I just failed on my 14th rep, so I'll probably end up doing two working sets for this movement, but this next one, I'll bump the weight up slightly, only because I got a few reps past my rep goal. But notice there on this movement, I'm very particular about how I execute and my form on this. In the past, my ego would get to me, and uh, you know, you want to move as much weight as possible, but slower and more controlled, honestly, with any movement, the better off you're going to be. This one specifically, the cues I'm thinking of is I'm driving my hips into the pad. You really want to get a really good squeeze. Make sure that your hips stay into the pad. You're not lifting your butt up and using your knees as leverage to get the weight. Essentially think about it as if you were doing like a preacher curl. When you do a preacher curl, you have your armpit super tucked into the top of the pad and you're getting the greatest contraction to the point where your elbow is almost lift it, lifting off the pad. So same thing here on this movement, instead of it being your elbow, it's your knee. Second set, like I said, we'll bump up to 99. And then this one, I'm actually gonna do a rest pause set. So I'll do three sets back to back with 15 seconds rest in between.
I've been doing feeder sets, working up to my top set weight. We're gonna do the same weight that we did last week and then hope we could just get more reps. Just go a bit more slow and controlled. Overall, have a better execution, but try to push for that 10 to 12 rep range. I think last week I only got like eight or nine. So I'm gonna give myself a few minutes rest and then attack this set and give it my all. Oh yeah, let's go. Uh. Come on! Ah. Ah. This fucking sucks. I got absolutely folded on that set. Second set, I dropped the weight a little bit. I'm just gonna focus on better execution, slow things down a bit. Like I said, I didn't get as many reps as I did as I expected on that first set, so. I'm just going to drop the weight a bit and hopefully get in that 10 to 12 rep range. Folded again. So you guys saw I threw a little bit of arms in there. I had to spice up the leg day and make it a little bit exciting. But we're gonna finish off now with some leg extensions. Good feeder sets, I'm on my first working set now. 100 pounds on the stack. Fucking knee sleeves stink. So the goal here is to just grip the absolute out of these handles, lock yourself in place. It's, it's called the grip and rip technique, I like to call it. You, you, you grab a hold and you rip the weight. Grip and rip. You also try it out. Second set, we'll do the same weight, but we'll follow that up with an intensifier. Drop the weight by like 50% or so, 40%, and then do drop set to failure.